my name is Zilong. I'm from China and now I'm a second year student at Hampshire College. My academic concentration is the future of world energy. And if I were to declare a major, my major would be history and philosophy. I was born um, in Inner Mongolia, in China, and I was born in the same hospital where my father was born. For the past 18 years, we've been moving from city to city. After two years of high school in Shanghai, I spent my last year of high school in Germany. Then I come to the United States for college. I started the student group called Hampshire Confucius. It's like the Hampshire version of Confucius Institute to introduce the traditional Chinese classics into the Western world. The China-US relationship will be the, if not one of the most important pair of foreign relations in 21st century. So as a 21st century Chinese citizen, I really need to know more about America. China is going through many of the similar period as America has gone through 50 years ago. There's a lot to be learned from America's mistake and its success. Before coming to the United States, my image of this country is at probably at the two extreme. I think this is probably true for also for the image of China in the United States. My image of America is no longer the two extreme. America is still the most innovative society and America has got the highest concentration of the brightest young people from around the world. I have never heard about the 1961 Freedom Ride before I do my application and I look it up online and I was so shocked. Shocked not just by the fact of the heroic deeds of the 1961 Freedom Riders, but also by the fact that I am so unaware of that important event in the history. The South is generally pretty invisible from the national media coverage or from the global media coverage, but it's half of the United States. The best way to learn about a country is to go into its deepest struggle in the history. There's no better way to learn about today's America than to look at the most violent or the most desperate struggle 50 years ago. I'm extremely excited to meet the other 39 students and I am pretty sure everyone on the trip will be the teacher and the students and the bus will be a moving classroom for 10 days. History is important just as memory is important to a human. If we don't study history carefully and critically, then we'll be like a boy waking up every morning and forgetting what he has learned the day before. History is really a mirror. When we look into the history, we see ourselves. We really see where we come from and we can then know where we're about to go.